everybody welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm really excited because it's the opening of my new online store which is going to be located at kirstypartridge.com and up until March the 1st you can get a 10% discount off of all of my prints by using the discount code launch17 at checkout so in today's video I'm just going to be running through some of the prints and originals that I currently have on offer on my website at the moment and I'm starting off by showing you my small 5x7 prints. So here are just a few examples of the 5x7 prints but I do have more of these in the different drawings on my website and then the medium size is my 8x10 prints. And so all of the prints are done using archival inks on premium luster paper and it's 250 GSM so it's quite thick and this is really good because it means that the colours won't fade over time. My large prints are sized 11 by 14 but occasionally I do have a few other sizes for example my Lost at Sea print is a 12 by 12 inch so I'm going to be showing you next but commonly the size is 11 by 14 inch for the larger prints. And when I'm packaging these, the 5x7 and the 8x10 prints will come flat packed in an envelope and then the larger prints will come rolled up in a mailing tube. But I will show you how I'm going to package them later on in the video. And the 12x12 inch Lost at Sea print is the only one that doesn't come with the border. So my current pricing is that the 5x7 prints are £8, the 8x10 prints are £18 and the large 11x14 prints or larger are £29. And like I said earlier, these aren't the only types of prints that I've got on my website, so this is just a few examples to show you the different sizes that I've got available. So the next thing that I'm showing you is just the originals that I currently have on my website. So I have Entropic Mind, which was the piece I did for my 10 minute challenge, which I took a lot longer on. And then I've got my Rosetta, my Transcendence, Illustrious Death, the two YouTube collective pieces, and also a few of my wildlife pieces as well, and also the Lost at Sea drawing. So if you want to know the prices for each of these individually, then make sure you go over to my website and you can see the prices for all of these. So now I'm just going to show you my website and how you can work through it. So when you go onto the website, it leads you to the homepage, which just has an array of the different pieces that I have in no particular order. But then on the sidebar, there are the prints column and the originals. So you can filter out which ones that you would like. Also, if there's a specific print that you're searching for, you can just search for it in the search bar. So in the sidebar, at the top you have the shopping cart and then there's the prints and the original sections and then I have an FAQ page where I talk about the shipping and when you can expect your order by and my return policy and then I have a contact page and finally back to site leads you back to my YouTube channel. So starting off with the print page, the price that you'll see under the products is the price that it starts from. So this is the price for the smallest print available. But if you click on the print, then there's a drop down where you can see the different size options and the individual prices. So I'm aware that if you're watching this on a mobile, then you might not be able to see exactly what's going on. But if you want to check out my store, then just make sure you head over to kirstypartridge.com and then you can have a look around for yourself. Once you add the product to cart, it will take you to the cart page and then you can carry on shopping or you can go to checkout. So like I said, up until March the 1st, you can get 10% off all of my prints by using the discount code LAUNCH17 at checkout. And this is when you go to checkout that you can apply this and that's also when you'll be able to work out the shipping cost. Now I'm just on my originals page and they have the different prices for all the originals on there. There's no set standard prices, it's all quite unique depending on the piece itself. And the price of the piece is generally based on how big it is, how much detail is in it, how long it took and also the materials that I used. So I make sure that I use all light fast materials in my pieces so that I'm sure that the colours won't fade over time. If you want to know about shipping times, return policies and also tracking then you can go onto my FAQ page and I've got information about all of them on there. And finally, if you have any questions, feel free to contact me through the contact page on my website where I will answer your questions as soon as possible. And like I said, once you've gone to checkout, that's when you can figure out your shipping cost and also put in your discount code. And the payment methods that I'm using are PayPal or you can use your credit and debit card. So now I'm going to run through how I would package an 8x10 inch print and also an 11x14 inch print. 
first I'm going to show you how I'd package an 8x10 print and I'm going to show you how I'm going to package two prints. So what I would do is I would use an A4 cello sleeve and I'd put the two prints in back to back and then I'm going to put those prints into a hardbacked envelope with an extra sheet of really thick cardboard and this makes sure that it's really sturdy so that even if you're trying to bend it you'd have to use a lot of pressure in order to make it bend which means that your package is going to be really safe during shipping. And now moving on to the 11 by 14 inch print, with the larger prints I roll them up and put them in a mailing tube instead because if you flat pack these then it would get really bent easily. So the mailing tubes are really really strong and I would put it in the cello sleeve again and fold it over and then what I'd do is I'd roll it really really carefully and put it in the mailing tube with two plastic caps on the end. And now the print is really secure and it can be sent off like this. And also the mailing tubes are really good because it helps to keep the shipping costs really low because the mailing tubes themselves are quite small. So now I'm just going to take the large print out of the mailing tube and because it's been in the tube and it's been rolled up then it can become a bit curved at the edges but I just turn it over and roll it up again and then it will come out completely flat and once you frame it and everything there won't be any creases and putting it in a mailing tube does not damage the print at all. Anyway, that's it guys, so if you are interested in buying a print or an original drawing, make sure you head over to kirstypartridge.com and make sure to enter that code LAUNCH17 at checkout to get 10% off of the prints. Thank you guys so much for watching the video, I'd really appreciate it if you give the video a like and also a share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video, bye!